streets of today are dominated with cars. Long commutes took our time, traffic pollutes our air, and it hides our skylines with a blanket of gray dust. But what if that could change? Pedestrian-dominated streets reclaim time and a healthier and safer environment. That is the concept behind 15-minute cities. Actually, most urban cities, which are dense, hold the potential to be a 15-minute city. It is an access-focused urban concept in which all city residents' essential needs are reached by foot or a bicycle ride from their homes. This concept promotes and encourages the residents to walk and cycle instead of using their private own cars. But why? Why are our streets still filled with cars? Why do our streets have to be hidden in smog? And why aren't we walking? The answer to that is fairly simple. It's because the streets aren't walkable. Enters Jeff Spex's general theory of walkability. According to him, if we want people to walk, we have to offer them a walk that's as good as a drive or better. Which means we have to offer four things simultaneously. A reason to walk, a walk that's safe and feels safe, a walk that's comfortable, and a walk that's interesting and enjoyable. But, applying the said concepts in a local context is a bit challenging. The existing built environment is dominated by residential and commercial structures, and the existing roads are narrow, meaning we lack space to open more parks and areas that can cater the public. That brings us to the Pocket City, a city experience within your local neighborhood. Here, we redesigned the existing built environment to favor the people. The Pocket City project redefines the community where pedestrians and cyclists are prioritized by making the streets safer, cleaner, comfortable, and breathable. Located in both Imus and Bacoor Cavite, at the macro level, we can see how densely populated the site is. Most of the area is dedicated for residential use. Others are used for commercials and institutions. For the networks to be deployed, here is the boulevard, main road, two-way roads, one-way roads, and the pedestrian-only street. Now, we go to our boulevards. In our proposal, we utilize the empty lots by commercializing the whole stretch. By doing so, the boulevard is activated, which makes more use of the neglected area. Sidewalks are widened and roads are narrowed for a safer pedestrian experience. Banaba trees are lined at the sidewalks and the median to act as a natural shade, shield the area from the tropical heat, provide cleaner air, and as an ornament with its bright purple-pink flowers. Before its redefinement, the pedestrian streets were two-way roads, specifically the parts that have high concentrations of pedestrian traffic. They were closed off to cars to give more space for pedestrians. Banaba trees are also lined in the middle which is enclosed by a plant box that doubles as a seating area. In this project, we also identified several nodes and a main hub to create more centers and services. The centers were chosen as they are easily accessible, have a potential or already existing high concentration of traffic volume, and an unused or unutilized space. The first node is seated atop the Avenida Rizal Inocencio intersection. Its maximum area was obtained and elevated due to the lack of space. By doing so, pedestrian and vehicular flow is separated which provides a safer route for the people 
and a smoother flow for cars. Throughout the project, natural canopies are used as a shading device. And to complement such a theme, leaf-shaped wooden canopies were placed, which mimics a leaf pattern to play with lights, shadows, and scale. Underneath the wooden canopies, areas for merchants are provided. The elevated space invites the public to slow down, take in the breeze, and enjoy the view of the daily buses of Avenida Rizal. The second node is located at the corner of Pasumbuaya, the Anghari Road. Together with the wooden canopies, vegetation is also incorporated as a shading device and an accent. Play, picnic, and dining areas are also included. Lastly, the main hub, aka the full-size version of the nodes, is placed at the busiest intersection within the neighborhood to serve as a lung for people to breathe in as they surround themselves with nature. Thank you.